What's up everybody? This is Lee Reese, and this video was also part of one of my earlier videos, but I figured I'd split it off as well so that people can more easily get to them. So this video covers how to render videos in Sony Vegas for great 720p or 1080p video on YouTube with no black bars. This is a random Wibble Agenda clip I have on my hard drive, my videos folder from MSI Afterburner. I'm not going to edit it or anything, just going to go ahead and hit render as. And the first thing you'll want to do is set it to Sony AVC or some MP4 file type. If it doesn't let you do MP4s, AVI files will also work. At least in my experience, I've had the best experience with rendering video files as MP4s and then uploading them to YouTube. And then you can choose a template here, but I ended up doing custom anyways. Default template, and we'll go ahead and customize that so you can see what I did. Video format, you can leave that as AVC. Make sure you have this set to 1280 by 720 or if you're doing 1080p, 1920 by 1080 depending on what your raw video file from MSI Afterburner is. In my case, I do 12, 720p. You don't need this checked, so leave that alone. Profile, I'm not sure what this does, I'll just leave it at main. I read somewhere that CAVAC is a better quality than CAVLC, but I don't know. I don't think I really noticed any difference between the two. For frame rate, you definitely want to get to as close to 30 FPS as you can because that's what YouTube plays videos back at. For field order, it's important that you change this to none, progressive scan. If you have upper or lower field, it might give you like uh, interlacing lines or something like that, which you don't want. Also make sure your pixel aspect ratio is 1.0. This means you'll have no black bars across the top or bottom of your video. If you do something like 0.9, or 0.8 you could get that like widescreen HD effect with black bars on the top and bottom but generally you especially for gameplay you want to keep it at one so for bitrate the higher the better quality but also the better file size I find that anywhere over 10 million is typically pretty good and if it's like a montage or something that I put a lot of effort into and want the best quality I'll just go ahead and bump it up to 20 million or whatever the max the particular the particular codec you're using will let you use. In code mode, just leave that on automatic. Audio, you can leave it as AAC. You'll typically want to go as high as it'll let you. The sample rate, 48,000 is pretty good, pretty standard. Bit rate, I like to do 192, but there's probably not a noticeable difference. But I'm not sure on that. And of course, you want to leave this on stereo. And you can under system, mp4 file format is what you want, and video rendering quality, best, and you don't need to do anything with the stereoscopic 3D. So that's it, hit OK, and also you can save this template so you don't have to manually re-enter it every time, you can just pull it from the drop down menu, which I think I did right here, yeah, and pull it up real quickly, and then you'll go ahead and save your video. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know as always. I know this was a pretty in-depth video, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how I record and how to get better quality for your videos if you're interested in doing something similar.